Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the using statement in C Sharp and how it relates to reading and writing files using the Stream Reader and Stream Writer. So basically when you're using the using statement, it, what it's going to do is once you reach the end of the scope, it's going to dispose of the um, Stream Reader or Stream Writer or any iDisposable um, object. So an iDisposable object is an object that implements the iDisposable interface. So I'm going to show you how to read and write to a file and you're going, it's going to, ha the using statement will automatically handle the streamwriter.close um, so that you don't need to handle that yourself. So first off I'm just going to specify where I want to save my files to, it's just going to be a local file for now. Once I've got that file name, I can just pass that to the stream um, writer that's basically saying that I want to use that file to um, write to, and I'm going to write a few lines to it. I'm going to write, hi everyone, and I'm going to write another line as well. And once it hits the end of that um, curly brace, it's going to automatically close that stream writer. So I don't need to call streamwriter.close. I can do the exact same thing with the stream reader. But first I'm going to just check that the file exists. It's good practice to check whether a file exists when reading um, from it in particular. But you may even want to do it when writing um, to a file because you might not want to overwrite the file. In this case, I don't particularly care about overwriting a file, but I do want to check that the file exists that I am reading from. So I'll just pass that same file name in um, to my stream reader, and I've got that using statement again. So once I hit that um, last curly brace there, it's going to dispose of the stream reader just by calling that close function on it. I'm going to read in um, the lines from the stream reader. And I'm going to keep reading those lines and um, logging them to console while the line is not equal to null, so while there is still lines in the file. So I'll just use console.writeline to write what um, lines have been read from the file. And then I'll read a new line in. So yeah, once it hits that curly brace there at the end, it's going to um, close that stream reader. If the file doesn't exist, I'm going to want to um, output to console that file does not exist. In this case, it's going to exist just because I'm creating it before I'm reading from it. So now that everything's in order, I can go ahead and run this code. And when that runs, I'm going to see a few things output to console. So it says that it's reading from file and the following lines were in the file. So you can see those lines were in the file, but what happens if I don't use the using statement? So I'm just going to add some extra logging here to say that I'm writing, uh, writing to the file and wrote to the file. And then I'm going to go ahead and extract my write lines outside of my using statement. So I'm going to need to extract the stream writer into a new line. Um, that's so that I'm defining my stream writer. Then I can write my lines without the using wrapping around them. 
and then I'm going to have to manually call streamwriter.close. That's going to achieve the same thing as the using statement would do, but I don't need to manually call it. It just sort of handles it for me. So you can see it's writing to the file and then it reads the lines that have been written to the file from the file. So you can see that's working in the exact same way. But what happens if we re remove streamwriter.close? Well, when it runs, you can see that it's not able to read any lines from the file. It says reading from file and read from file, but it doesn't say what was in the file. And that's because we didn't have that streamwriter.close there. So it didn't um, tidy things up for us. Now I just want to show you that checking that the file exist actually works. I'm just going to change the um, name of this file to be no file. I don't have any file by that name, so it's going to fail and it should output file does not exist to the console. Cool, so there you have it. That's the basics of working with files. All of my code's going to be available on GitHub. If you've liked this tutorial, please like and subscribe for more content.